It's Yammer and the Hammer Chime. That's better. Yammer and the Hammer Chime. We just got back from a 13 state, 9,800 kilometer, 16 day trip, and we saw some pretty awesome stuff. We're gonna do a multi-part video series here. Keep them five to 10 minutes in length, as not to bore you, keep them entertaining. We'll have some tips and tricks, places to see, uh, things to do, uh, links to some hikes that we've done, some apps, and also to avoid some of the things that we did do. We way overpacked. So let's get to it. The videos that I'm doing, um, I'm probably gonna be dubbing some music and voiceover on them. Because honestly, you really don't need to hear me wheezing, gasping for breath, uh, almost on a verge of a heart attack. As I found out, I'm not quite as, as in shape as I was the last time we did this. This road trip was dedicated to Martini. We lost her last spring. She was our best friend and she was with us all the way. Love you, Martini. For the 9,800 kilometers I was talking about, I underestimated by about 1,500. I'm fired as a planner, but I was still the navigator. If Tracy, my wife, was a navigator, we'd still be driving and possibly in Alaska. Now, if she was here, she would agree with me as well. And the last 100 kilometers of the trip, I wanted to drive the Bronco a little bit, but would she let me? No, she wanted all the glory to herself. She wanted to do the whole thing. So she drove the 9,800 kilometers. And I'm also the DJ. Now, as a DJ in the Bronco, um, I'm gonna be getting into that video separately. Basically, the audio sucks in a Bronco, but you can fix it for free. Uh, I was also the out the top of the roof picture taker, and I got pretty good at that as well climate control, and also pillow tester. Some parts of this trip were incredibly mind-numbing, boring, uh, butt-wrenching sitting there, it was horrible. Other parts are great, but usually my lifespan in a vehicle driving is about four to six hours before my wife wants to put me on the roof, strap me there, and forget about me. Luckily for us, we have a tent on top of the Bronco, so she couldn't do that. And I gotta tell you, I became the pillow tester. If we had like a good stretch of road ahead of us that she didn't require directions, I was testing the pillows. First relaxing stop, Sioux City, South Dakota. This is where the Big Sioux River crashes over a series of rock faces forming beautiful cascades. Formed over 14,000 years ago with the last ice age. Now Sioux City was founded in 1856 and it's this park here is actually noted as one of the top 25 city parks in the United States. And if you do get a chance, check out the 19th century Queen Bee Mill. Yes, and I kid you not, sections of the Berlin Wall here in Sioux City, South Dakota. Both sections here were from between the Brandenburg Gate and Checkpoint Charlie areas. Now this was built starting in 1961 between West and East Germany with the aid of the Soviets. And if you look to the top, you can see the cylindrical top on it that made scaling it virtually impossible. Now, the one of the sections here was donated from the citizens of Radigan, Germany, which is in fact the sister city of Vermilion, South Dakota. One of the tank traps we see here was donated by Potsdam, Germany, and that is the sister city of, you guessed it, Sioux City, South Dakota. Onto the Badlands. Now, before we get into that, I want to talk about an app, an app called Guide Along, formerly known as Gypsy. It is a automated audio tour that's based upon your GPS location. And it will give you tips and tricks where to go, what to see, uh, history, stories. It's fantastic. It's like having somebody beside you who knows everything you need to know. The good thing is that you can download this offline because connectivity isn't always there, so it doesn't matter. It starts automatically. It's fantastic. Check it out. Badlands, 240,000 acres. 11,000 years ago, people hunted mammoth here. And most recently, Lakota. And they deemed it Makosika, which meant Badlands. Now, here is what you see is very soft, very prone to rock falls. 
very fragile. So when you're hiking here, please be careful. Let's save it for future generations and also take some water with you too. But as you can see, it's a very unworldly looking area, supernatural in a way. And depending on the lighting, whether it's first thing in the morning or in the evening, the hills, the valleys, the peaks, the buttes, along with striped colors, uh, it changes all the time. It is a fantastic and surreal looking landscape. Which way to the notch? Ah, crap. Let me give you a hand getting up. I, I did it. As my wife would say, woot, woot, we made it. I need a coffee. No way. Yeah, way. Okay, that's it for this one. Please join us for our next in the series of this road trip. This time we're gonna be doing Mount Rushmore, Tonto, Sylvan Lake, the Black Hills, and Needles Highway. So if you wanna check it out, sign up for notifications, like, subscribe, do what you want, it's okay. I'm putting it out here, hopefully to entertain you. Scooby-Doo.